So I finally decided to check out the new season of 90 Day Fiance The Single Life and right away I'm confused because half of these people aren't even single and then all of a sudden Tim is here. Why is he here? What are we- what is this show now? This spinoff has just become all of the leftover scraps from the rest of the shows and now this guy's out here inventing new facial expressions. You might think that I just paused this on a bad frame. No, I didn't. Watch this. What have I done to where you're like, Jamal just not the guy? What mood is this? He looks like he's in pain yet also relaxed enough to fall asleep. Things aren't going any better for Ty Ray, who's now being catfished by Hillary Clinton. Who's your dream woman? Mm. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. <laughs> So yeah, this isn't exactly an all-star cast here, but either way, we are going to go through this together, and I promise we will get through it. Okay, so it opens up with Chantel and Pedro, and they're getting divorced finally, and she's like, Oh yeah, Pedro, you're gonna divorce me and run off? Well, guess what? I'm gonna go find- I'm gonna go to Greece and find another guy that's just like you and behaves exactly like you, and I'm gonna make the same mistake and start this whole thing over again. So yeah, how about that? It's been six months since my divorce was finalized. So Everybody what is it? Show what are you? Backs. We're here for the what? Divorce party. Because she's looking for the finalized. Look, anyone can deal with their divorce in whatever way they need to, but all I'm saying is it's been six months and she's still thinking about this enough to make a bunch of t-shirts to celebrate it. If you want to prove to everyone you're divorced, then I would probably not talk about it all the time, every day. So Chantel and all her friends are at the airport and they're they're really hyped up, you know? They're excited. They're like, yeah, we're going to Greece. It's where they filmed the, the movie with John Travolta, right? This is where the Greek gods are. So I'm oh. hoping that there's some... A god I Greek, for you. Greek, Greek god Greek. of a man. Because you were with a peasant. Of Greek. a man. Why can't you just go on vacation with your friends? Whatever happened to that? Instead, they're going to spend the whole time talking about the divorce and talking about Pedro and talking about needing to find a new man for her. Don't get me wrong, I understand the need to vent about it, but it's been six months since their divorce was finalized. I want so desperately to have everything that I've ever wanted, but better, because now I've done it before and I know the right way to do it. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Well, that was quite a statement. She said she desperately wants to have everything she's ever wanted to have. I too would love to have everything thing I've ever wanted to have. But better. When I think of Greece, I think Sparta, Spartans. Gonna get ahead of myself. I would like a Greek man. I will take one Greek man. Thank you very much. I think it's funny that she wants a Greek man, but admittedly doesn't even know much about Greece. She's saying that she knows how to do things the right way now because she's had some experience and she knows what it's like to be married, but it doesn't really sound like it. Why does she even want a guy from Greece anyway? Is it just because it's a beautiful place to go on vacation? Is that the criteria for her future husband? He must live in a beautiful place that I can go on vacation to. Nice body, washboard abs. It's so funny because she said all the same things about Pedro, who Dominican. She's like, I want a Dominican man, nice body, washboard abs. And then that didn't work out. So she's like, I want a Greek man, nice body, washboard abs. Hmm, I wonder why things haven't been working out. So Chantel is in the car with all her friends and she pulls out a cucumber for some reason and starts singing into it. And then it cuts to Natalie and she's a 90 day, the single life veteran. It's like her fifth season on here. And at this point, she's not even single. So I don't know what she's doing on here. She's with this guy, Josh. Now, remember this guy, the, the, the dude with the nice body and the washboard abs. They keep introducing him as her love interest but they're also talking about living together and buying an apartment so I don't really I don't know what they are I'm confused and I don't care so it's kind of a tough combination this is off to a good start yeah. do you feel that no I don't moving on I first met Carmela on a dating app oh, no. in 2019 back in 2021 I decided to meet her in Barbados and I planned on proposing to her but she never showed up. I must say, this guy seems to be wanting to do better and has a pretty positive outlook on everything. He seems to have actually learned his lesson when it comes to being catfished and he wants to go out into the world to meet somebody now. He just needs to stop with the nervous giggle, okay? I said it, it's it's getting out of control. What's up, cuz? Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. What's up, you guys? Oh, what's up? How you doing, Tiffany? <laughs> All right, how you doing? <laughs> Wow, looks good. <laughs> but hey, at least he's putting himself out there and I gotta respect him for that. I think he might have a better shot at finding true love than Chantel or Tim. I'm gonna steal a fry. Speaking of Chantel, let's check back in on her quest to find a Greek, Greek, a Greek person. What's your favorite sport? Football Americano. Soccer, you mean? No, American oh, American football. Yeah, American I'm, football. I'm speaking. 
Oh boy. So she's speaking to a man from Greece, but her brain just reverted back to Spanish. I'm assuming because she's talking to a foreign guy with washboard abs. I think it kind of just shows right there that she sees all of these guys as virtually the same regardless of what country they're from. They're just foreign dudes that are good looking. That's that's really what she wants is just a guy who's not American, which is totally fine, but don't pretend like you have some sort of specific connection or interest in Greece. You really just want some muscular guy that happens to live near a beach. Just say it. It's okay. She wants a muscular guy who lives near the beach and also loves to swim and likes to live life on the edge. She's describing Larry the Lobster, essentially. When I think of Greek, I don't know why I think of Rome, too. Greece was part of the Roman Empire, I think. What I about the Spartans? I'm sorry, uh, do you want an answer to these questions or are you just asking things What just about to the Egyptians? They were, they were people. Doesn't Sparta have something to do with like 300 or Gerard Butler or something? They were in, they were in Greece. Greece? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh my God. I love them. What is she doing? <laughs> wow, and here I, here I thought I was watching 90 Day Fiance, but we're being treated to a sophisticated discussion about ancient history. I did not expect this. This is a pleasant surprise. I can't explain it, but she's very much giving off London Tipton energy in this scene. She's pretending to be excited about something that she doesn't even really know much about or care about, and he doesn't either. <laughs> I'm such a fan. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I have a Spartan seal here. Yeah. You love it? Yeah. <gasps> Shut up. Yeah, Spartan seal. Oh my god, it might be fate. Yes, it's it's fate. That's definitely what it is. It's fate that we all learned ancient history in sixth grade and you brought up one of the only things that you even knew about Greece and you didn't even know it because you had to ask to make sure that Sparta was in Greece. Maybe it would be fate if you also had a tattoo like that or if you had a specific interest in ancient Sparta. When I met Pedro, I had butterflies. There was definitely a physical attraction. But this is so different because I have an actual connection with Giannis. What about the Spartans? Yeah, this is quite a connection. I can just feel the chemistry between you two. Can you imagine living in a world where you go on vacation and ask a Greek dude one question about ancient history that you literally don't even want the answer to and you act fake excited about it? And thinking that is what constitutes a connection and a stronger one than the one that you had with your ex-husband? Anyway, now we're gonna check back in on Tim since the show really wants us to care about what he's doing. I guess we're gonna, we're gonna watch this. So Tim's ex, who he's best friends with, is now dating Jamal, who is Kimberly's son. Remember Kimberly, who was with Usman? If you don't watch the show, I am sorry. Good luck following all of this. You know, I watched the show and I still struggle to follow any of it. Since Tim and his ex have this weird relationship, he's protective over her and he doesn't want her to be with Jamal since Jamal doesn't take their relationship seriously. So they end up clashing with each other quite a bit. I just feel like Veronica has told me every time you chime in on a relationship, it's always from a place of negativity. It doesn't matter what I think about you guys. It it does to me. That was, Can we all just like sing no, 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 no. Jamal came in hot, not me. Yeah, I came in hot. You come in hot every other Tim, time. I'm sorry, hot. but I- I don't know about that. You're really gonna try to convince me that Tim has come in hot before? I don't even know if I can imagine that. I think the most heated I've ever seen Tim is when he was passive aggressively sucking on his Gucci vape pen. Despite looking like a character from an early Pixar movie, I think Tim is a pretty likable guy. His observations about Jamal are probably accurate, but also it shouldn't be his place to judge as Veronica's ex-boyfriend or fiance or husband? Were they, were they married? I don't know, but it was back when Tim looked like this. Like, Sam, say whatever the f you have to say. Like, whatever. Mm. The conversation starts to go very poorly from here when they bring up Veronica's daughter, Chloe. Jamal and his friend are basically saying that he shouldn't have as much of a role in her life because he's not her actual father and he's Veronica's ex. It's kind of a weird situation because if Tim dates somebody or Veronica dates somebody, they have to be a big part of each other's life. It's not even like they're just exes that are friends. I mean, they see each other every day. They say, I love you to each other. They're, they probably have a better relationship than most actual couples. Yeah, because we're going to sit here and act like Tim is just a father of the year. We're gonna keep pretending that that's a thing. You're not, I'm not. Dude. I'm not a parent of the year, right? But then why do you keep acting like that's it? I'm not. I'm not acting like I'm parent of the year. Oh yeah? Then what the hell is that, Tim? Oh, this? Oh, this is just my parent of the year necklace. They just, they hand these out to anybody though. It's not a big deal. Challenging me as a father. I just found it to be super disrespectful. Tim. Was that really necessary? What's with all these extra Tim shots? They keep, ex they, what do they think we need to see Tim for an extra three seconds? This episode would have been significantly more flawed if they didn't have that extra shot of Tim just staring at the camera. Tim, you're a bitch, dude. Why did do you- I, Whoa! Mahogany. Did I ever claim also, to Also, what you're not gonna do is raise your voice what at you're me. What you're not gonna do is- What you're not gonna do is raise your voice at me. You know what happens when you raise your voice at me? I stand up on my two feet. Now that I'm standing and making this face, do you regret your actions? Do you see why I warned you now? Voice what what you're not gonna do is question me being a dad to Chloe. Guys, no. You're way 
Below the line. It's a good thing these other guys are here to stop them. This is getting out of control. Somebody's gonna get hurt if you don't have at least three or four people holding Tim back. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video. I know this was a pretty short one. I'll be back for another one soon. So far, this season of The Single Life has been relatively uneventful. Even with John back, I thought that was gonna make it more entertaining, but it really isn't. But yeah, thank you so much everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And also, before I go, I would just like to say if anyone wants to see longer videos, you can head on over to Patreon. I'm gonna be reviewing shitty movies there now. I just posted a video there two days ago, so if you'd like to see me complain about one of the worst movies of all time for almost 40 minutes, you can go check that out. I also did a whole series on a certain show by Chris Hansen. But anyway, thanks again everyone for stopping by. I hope you all have a wonderful night, and I will see you next time. What about the Spartans? Spartans? No, like the 300, Leonidas. Where are they? They were in, they were in Greece. Greece? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh my god, I love them. Barbados. <laughs> I'm such a fan. <laughs>